happy all of you are to see one another and how eager you are to talk, but I will ask for your attention for the rest of the program and in particular for our next act. And I think it is important to be aware of the magical moment that brings our next act here with us tonight. I want you now to take your minds back to the late 1970s, Germany. We're in a USO club. There is a, an American soldier and a German accountant, and they're both in the club, and suddenly they each have a drink show up in front of them, and each of them thinks that the other one bought the other a drink. It turns out that neither of them bought the drinks. There was somebody else in the bar that bought drinks for everyone at the bar, but they weren't aware of that. But the good news is that it was that uh, mistake that they each made that caused them to meet. They ultimately fell in love. They ultimately raised our next uh, performer, uh, their daughter, Dinah Lang, our resident poet, the former poet laureate of the city of Vallejo. We're very happy to have her with us here tonight. Please give us a round of applause for Dinah Lang. Shabbat shalom, everybody. It's wonderful. wonderful to be here because five years ago I did this, and that was a chain reaction that led to everything you heard about me and So thank you. This first poem I have is called Dostadning, which is a Swedish Swedish word that means paring down your possessions so your descendants don't have to. <laughs> I watch as my family slowly sells off pieces of my memories to the highest bidder. Items never to be seen again, having lost their usefulness in the sandstorms of time. A cabinet we stored shoes in from muddy sneakers to snowy boots. Drawings by some warrior ancestor whose name was lost to time. A series of books by a beloved author the antique crystal tchotchkes that used to bring them a smile. And I slowly accumulate other bits of atoms that remind me again of what used to matter, all to scratch the itch of a time lost to the ether. A Mardi Gras doubloon with a crew sharing my name, a piece of German kitsch, a cornflower kitchen dish. I put on an old LP by SLB singing folk songs I hadn't heard in so long that reached deep into my soul, strangely as familiar as an old love, unearthing fountains of joy from under the dust of ages. For reasons inexplicable, I began to cry. For language fails to express the how, the when, or the why. I slowly teach myself to cook the meals of my childhood from Knödel to Spetsloen, washing it down with seltzer, hanging on to the tastes of a culture vanishing from the touch of my every day. It's funny how objects and melodies become treasures that, as the years drip onto the wheels of eternity. We grasp them lovingly, feeling only the love of those now lost to time. For in the end, no matter the comfort of the material, that is all we have. Yeah. Wow. This next poem was inspired by our annual sisterhood retreat at Western Bay. It's called Time Unkept. Time unkept keeps us whole. On the site of this old rodeo, we paused from wrestling with how the world may go. We freed ourselves from the tyranny of timekeeping, immersed ourselves in wonder, defining our own meaning, and in it found the connection we had been seeking. Perhaps this space shall with its calm bring the strength for us all to free what needs free, just as we freed our souls with art, dance, and singing. 
Back in time, report swings, keep the rhythm that life brings. As distant prayers echo through each heart, birthing meanings, infinite as each being. A community of souls embody what God has seen as we brought visions of peace into being, attempting to capture holy moments so fleeting. We attempted to define the divine, hoping for answers amid holy daydreaming, fading, finding wisdom woven into song, multiple choice, complete acceptance, beyond right or wrong, falling into the arms of love. This final poem was poking at me at the worst possible time in the middle of Yom Kippur services. <laughs> um, and uh, magically it became my most popular poem because it was posted on reformjudaism.org. Oh. It's called Turning. We stood in reverence of the Torah, as if she were a trusted friend. We gazed at her with loving eyes, as if she were a long lost lover. We extended kisses to her, as if she were our only true love. As long as there is Torah, we shall find our path to being holy. We found safety in one another's arms, a space to cry tears of mourning, as our singing slowly returned them to tears of joy. And we found the strength to forgive those who had done us harm. We touched the brokenness of our hearts and then sang them back together again. As long as there is kindness, we shall heal one another. As long as there is community, we shall find our path to being holy. As long as there is poetry, there will be hope. As long as there is song, there will be joy. As long as there is prayer, there will be catharsis. As long as there is community, we shall stand together in awe. As long as there are these things, the world shall keep on turning, and so shall all of us. Thank you very much. Yeah.